What's going on guys? I'm Ben Wayne, back with another video. Thank you for jumping back on the channel today. We're gonna be doing another unboxing. Um, this time we got something in from Train World, trainworld.com. They sell all types of train stuff, all types of scales. Let's go ahead and get into it. These Train World boxes are some of my favorite boxes I like to see arrive. All right, let me go ahead and get through this Train World tape. I like that Train World tape. And we're gonna open this side here. All right, I love how they give you these packaging materials to make sure your product gets to you safely. Let's pluck that all to the side. All right. Okay. Get rid of this. All right, so what we have here is the standard Lionel shipper. So let's go ahead and get into this as well. Opening up trains is always exciting, especially something, you know, brand spanking new that you've been waiting for or finding something that you've been hunting for for a while. Nothing is as rewarding as finding something that you've been looking for for years and all of a sudden you see it pop up on eBay or it finally arrives from a catalog. Oh man, look at that beautiful orange box there. I love that newness. Let's go ahead and pull it out the plastic. File that to the side. All right. All right, this is right side up. Okay, this is exciting. Let me put the razor away real quick. Put this away. I always gotta put these things away. Worst thing you wanna do is forget you had that out. Let's see. All right. Now that we got that safely away, let's go ahead and open. And what do we have here? This is the Lionel ES44. This is one of the Canadian national units. This is a veterans unit. And at first glance, it looks really good. Let's go ahead and pull this out the box. Packaging looks good. Let me make sure nothing's broken. Uh, one of my hoses up front broke, but I will have to glue that. I'll glue that back. Sometimes when these get shipped, there's damages in shipping, but that's not a big deal. That was probably like that from the factory. All right, that was a bit of a struggle. Wow, this is a beautiful unit. This is gorgeous. Let me get all the packing material off of it. All right, so I finally have my new Canadian National Veterans ES44 unboxed. Similar to the J, which we reviewed in my previous video, this is actually an ET44 in real life. So the prototype is an ET44. However, in O scale, we don't always get new tooling every six months or so, like a lot of people in HO scale. So Lionel used what they had since the ES44 and the ET44 are close enough. So if you look up close, you'll notice that the front of this engine looks like a traditional Canadian national unit. But when you come towards the back, that's what makes this unit special. This is why I had to have it. I absolutely love the camouflage throughout the body of this engine. And then also I love how it has everything written in both English and French. Of course, you have the American and the Canadian flag as well. So on this side, it says, thank you for your service. On the other side, it says it in French. I think that's a really nice touch. Now on top of that, one thing I noticed once I finally got this thing unboxed is the brown paint is kind of reflective. It almost looks a little bit like copper and that really gives this a unique look. So, as I mentioned, the hose came damaged in shipping, but that wasn't a problem. I just glued that right back on. 
and then one of the chains on the trucks man one of the chains on the trucks was loose and it took forever to put that back on i actually had to have my wife help me with some tweezers to hook it back on to its proper place all right so the chain on my new es44 arrived disconnected what we're going to try and do is reconnect that so i don't have to send it in and wait six weeks for it to be fixed and this is a struggle y'all it seems like a simple problem it is a simple problem I... but it's a problem nonetheless it's okay wait. That took forever, but I didn't want to send this into Lionel for something like that and wait like six weeks. So we got that fixed. So let's go ahead and get this out on the rails and see how it looks on the layout. Make your pull to the pit to top her off. Over. Roger that. We're in position. Out. veterans unit to the J. What we're going to do is create a lash up in the legacy remote. So as you can see, I go into the train menu, select build train, and then I select each engine individually. And then I can also select which direction each engine is going in the legacy remote. So I am going to make it so the J is going backwards while the veterans unit is going forwards and build that as a train in the remote. And then we're going to hook this up to a consist and run it around the lab.
So that was a brief overview of another one of Lionel's ES44s coming out of the Volume 1 2022 catalog. Let me know what you guys think about this one. So between this one and the J, I really just love these paint schemes that just stand out and bring some life to some of the engines and consists that I run on the layout. It's always nice to have something unique. Now, primarily, my favorite road name is Norfolk Southern, but I don't want to have everything Norfolk Southern. I like having a little bit of flavor to my collection personally. Of course, I could always go for more Norfolk Southern stuff, but when I see stuff like this in catalogs, I always jump for it because they always end up being highly sought after and the colors just really make any train on your layout pop. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Do you like this one or the J better? Let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until next time, I'm Ben Wayne, the Train Collector's Train Collector.